What is going on you guys? My name is Daniel and welcome back to the channel where everything mirrorless can and cameras. In this video we're going to be going over different options you have to control where your AF focus point is at and a few different button options and joystick options and back screen options that you do have and some things that probably should have came from the factory but we're going to show you how to set them up. So we're going to be going and taking some portraits today out in some wonderful winter snow that we have been so blessed with and yeah, let's jump into it. And a big thanks to Canon Finland for loaning me all the gear that we're going to be using today as far as lenses and the Canon RP that I'm also going to be using. So, thank you Canon Finland. Alright, so there's a few options that you have when you're working with... Okay, so there's a few options that you have when you're working with your AF system and deciding which one you want to have. The basic ones is the back screen and then there's the touch and drag settings that allows you to use any part of the screen that you select as pretty much like you would the joystick. However, this setting also like if your face is there it might get hit by it and uh, I find that to be pretty annoying but I do end up using that and then there's also the joystick that you can use at the same time and there's our model for the day say hi Hi. and uh, yeah so those are the three big ones that you have and there's a few buttons and for some reason the joystick that's in the uh, corner there actually doesn't come as an AF setting from the factory but that's the only other fo function that it has other than helping you get through the systems settings so we're going to go through and show you the different options that you have. And there was one last that I forgot to mention. It was the back button auto focus button, which uh, when you set it up right, can also be used as an AF setting. Alright, so there are a few different AF settings that you have and options to actually control where the AF focus point is going to be at. And they're pretty much straightforward. The joystick, the touch and drag settings, the back button AF, and then the touch screen. And those are the big three. You ready? Okay, so let's talk about the touch and drag on the back. The touch and drag setting allows you to use a certain portion of the screen as the pretty much the joystick of it. You can do the bottom right hand corner, which is what I usually do. You can do the whole panel. And I tend to find this to be my least favorite simply because my face is constantly moving the AF point as I'm going. So this is definitely a personal preference. I do run with it and the joystick, which leads us to our next one, the joystick. Now you do have to go into the settings and it's the very last button that you can customize in the settings for button customizations. And for some reason it doesn't come with the AF from, or it doesn't come set up from the factory that way. So you have to go in there and actually change it yourself. But I think this is definitely by far and the most familiar, everyone coming from like the 5D Mark IV is definitely familiar with this setup. Oh, last time this place was frozen, it was way cooler. Let's do one more Something step. weird with my hair. Yeah. And it leads us into our next segment, which is using the back button. And this one I have set up to eye focus because I use the front shutter as the, well, just as the single point. So when you use this back button AF, it also makes it a little bit more accurate, but it is the next way to set your focus point. And it's really simple because if it's on the face and eye detect, then it's simply gonna figure out exactly what you wanna take a photo of anyways. And what's really nice is if you're at an event, what you can do is you can simply have the AF button down the entire time and just be taking a bunch of photos. And you don't really ever have to worry about, you know, getting the focus off the front trigger. So that's the second option. All right, back in the car, we are very cold. My hands are cold from being out there uh, pressing the shutter button. 
but we're doing good. We're gonna go downtown and take some more photos. Oh, and one small thing I forgot to say is having servo on when you're using that back button AF for events and stuff and just holding it down is the way to go. Otherwise, it'll just hold focus on whatever you had it to begin with. Hey, killer. She always wants to carry something when you come back home. Yo, man. Yo. Yo. I want hats and kisses too. Do it. Ridiculous. Do it. I'm never going to finish this video. <laughs> Okay, so we we're back here at the house, and in order to switch over your settings for the uh, joystick over in the corner, to do that, you're gonna have to go into the buttons customizations and go all the way down to the bottom. And it's labeled multi controller, and all you do is just click into that, and there's only two settings off and on. Just switch it to that. The next one is the touch and drag, and that can be found over in the and the touch and drag settings can be found in the AF under the number one at the very bottom. When you go in there, you're going to have touch and drag enabled, and then you're going to have the options per, for positioning, method, relative, and you're going to have relative and absolute. And what that means is the relative position. So let's say my finger's right here. I have this section blocked off, and relative would be if I swipe this direction, the AF button or the AF is going to go in that direction, and then um, for the precise. The, absolute so the absolute position if i press on that section of the screen <laughs> the af and that's where the af focus point is going to go you can then partition off different parts of the screen you can then partition off different parts of the screen i like the bottom right hand corner simply because that's where i hit it the least on accident and it works pretty well the next option is the af button right there and this guy is designed for mostly sports and one of the ways to use it is for events and to have it just set to face and eye detect and so that will automatically choose whoever's face is there already and you don't have to move the autofocus uh, indicator wherever you need it to, you just press that button and it will go there. This can be changed in the, once again, the button customizations under AF on button and this can be switched in the button customizations and it's the AF on button and I have it just set to eye focus. I still use the front button for regular uh, one shot. So and the last option that you have is the touch shutter which is whenever you press the back screen it will take a photo and I absolutely abhor this method because I try to change settings in the back screen and I end up taking photos that I don't want at all of like the floor and the ceiling and it's not fun that way so I turn that off. Okay, so those are the major camps for how to change and select where your AF is at. If you have any other ways, throw them down in the comment section. And so these are the major ways that you can choose where your AF focuses at. And let us know which camp you fall into. Are you a joystick user? Are you the touch and drag? Are you a back screen? Or are you the AF button? Let us know down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.